Scott Scott Wonders World. I'm Scott, obviously, and uh, not with Wonder. Um, she'll be joining us for the stout all about it. Um, the stout from Audi. Taking a look at some of the cheap range of the new stuff. Look at my fucking hair. And my eyes. Here's what it is. You know, you do these things for charity, you fucking absolute idiot. Um, so I've just done the uh, the Toys is Nice from Audi. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I said in the video uh, that Wanda told me to be nice about it and not to slag it off, etc. Um, I finished recording it and I took it up for her to try and even she was like, oh, that's awful. Someone might like it, right? No, they won't. Sam tried it as well and it's fucking awful. Absolutely dreadful. Um, I'm hoping this one's going to be better. This one's from um, Home Bargains. It's a tap room craft beer selection. So I don't know who's brewing these. I'm assuming they're just con contract brewed. I haven't done any research into these. This one I've got a, a bit of an issue with before I open the can, like I did with the other one. But this one's Hazy IPA. Uh, a juicy India parallel with tropical notes. Now, that's absolutely fine. Like the, I actually quite like the can art, but when you're calling yourself an IPA and you sit at 3%, 3.7% ABV, we're going to fall out quite rapidly. Um, especially when the other one in their range is marketed as a session IPA and that's 3.9%, so higher than that. Make your own mind up. I always thought an IPA should start at about 5.5-6%. Just me. But there we go. Anyway, so it says, uh, a hazy IPA, grab your sunglasses and flower headbands. I don't need a headband. Uh, we're going to the festival, and what better way to accompany music and good vibes than a juicy IPA, IPA to enjoy with your friends? Peach and tropical orange notes fly high with, with, like a banner in the... Fuck me, what are they? Coming out of the fucking brood of bloody bullshit. Wild grapefruit sings softly in the hazy glass. This is the summer sound of summer, and it's music to our ears. Simcoe, Mosaic, Equinot, and Cascade Hops all nice hops one of a limited range of craft beers brewed exclusively for the tap room craft beer selection i think it was 129 so let's be we'll try and be as fair as we can um let's take a look at it and see what we got it's energetic out of the can that's for sure So, um, King Kong's head, four finger head. Let's let that settle down a minute. Let's see if we can. Um... So, the, the beer that we've actually got in the glass actually looks all right. The nice haze to it. Um, orangey, nice orange colour. Um, looks. Well, I can see a bit to look quite nice. Let's go for a nose. Quite subdued. Little bit of orange. And maybe a little bit of peach but very subdued doesn't smell bad let's go for the kill um Go back in. It's very thin. Quite 
quite lightly carbonated. Um, it's not horrific. Obviously, with the with that ABV, it's struggling a bit. Um, now, I've had some really good low ABV beers. Oh, this is nice to falling off the table. Um, Sagrony Goods uh, trapped in amber, two point eight percent. There's been there's been a couple that are, are quite low. Um, this is nowhere near that. It's obviously brewed at their budget. A little bit of grapefruit, maybe. Tiny bit of peach. It's picking up the, the malt backbone in, there, in this one as well. We do find about these cheaper beers from the supermarkets are uh, they're predominantly a malt backbone is what comes through more than the hops. Um, is that one terrible? No, it's not. Um, it's... It'd be okay in a hot, on the hot summer day in the garden. Um, it, it's it would be it'd be acceptable. Say so it look it looks nice. It looks nice in the glass. Um, obviously, at that AB, I, I, I came into it annoyed by the three point seven percent. That doesn't annoy me quite so much now that the fact that the beer isn't dreadful. Don't get me wrong; it's not fucking brilliant, but it isn't dreadful. That twice as nice is dreadful. That isn't. Um, so, yeah, as, as a as a, they market that as a session IPA at that price, a lot happier. The fact that they're they're, they're market, marketing it as a just a hazy IPA, I do have an issue with that. Um, but there is there, there is some tropical stuff going on in it. Is it awful? No. Is it something that I would buy again? No. Because again, you can buy, you can go to, if, you, if you're looking in the supermarkets, there are just so much better beers around. But fair play to Home Bargains for trying. Um, they've done a, that's done a better job than that twice as nice. Um, I've got the Sharp Tongue and the, the, um, the Weird Jam in and a couple of the other Home Bargains ones as well. So, <laughs> pardon me, um, that one is okay. Um, it is it, it's no say it's no world beater but it's okay so if you've got home bargains at least give it a try don't don't be put see i, I came into it wanting to hate it because of that wanting to hate it i don't hate it i don't it's um it, it's it's okay so yeah go and go, go, go if you if you've got home bargains in ldn go and try these beers out for yourself don't try that fucking thing out there it's awful um let us know what you think of it down in the comments um, like the video, don't like the video, I don't care. Um, if you can subscribe to the channel, it really helps. And um, we'll see you very soon.